jump in. Boom. Now then YouTube, uh, in this video we're gonna um, do a video explaining about uh, the top lift of a dry stone wall and just show you the process of what we do. Building the top lift, getting the top row throughs in and then probably doing the tops as well. Um, it'll be a bit smaller stone than the boat quite all meet in the middle like a zip. Um, the same as they do in the bottom lift. But uh, yeah, keep watching, hope you enjoy hope you what enjoy. we're about to do. This bloody real wall. Bloody real. Beast. <laughs> Lydia's just gonna spray out the dream scenario stones. We don't do this at work, this is like, <laughs> <laughs> this is just to show you. What we might do, you know, because you don't just start randomly going, do you? No, you have a plan. If you wanna be a good waller, you wanna look at what you've got. Yeah. And vaguely plot out so you're not gonna fuck yourself over. Yeah. <laughs> That looks quite good. That's it's essentially cross crossing joints and trying to cross the internals in it. Look at that, the following middle. Oh, yeah, bastard. I can just tighten that joint up a bit. <laughs> now. Ah, your finger fuck. Ah, your finger fuck. <laughs> Obvious thing to do would be to square that up. But I might just see if I can hook this stone around that. So that just adds that bit of je ne sais quoi. Cool. Right, so I'm just going to do another little illustration of the internals. I know I'm banging on about it every two minutes, but it's basically the main thing about walling, if you want it to stay up for any length of time. So, to demonstrate, I'm going to spray over this, like, internal joint here. So, hopefully you can see it's kind of like a zigzag. Oh, that's blocked up. Right, anyway, it's like... Zag in there, zig in there, you know, we zigzagging. You want to be doing, on the next course, the opposite of that. So, you know, you're crossing it there, there like that. So that you don't end up with like the same thing all the way up. You don't want a straight line in the middle all the way through your wall. You're trying to like interlock each course and overlap the next course on top of that and that's so that over time when it moves around you know every course is locking into itself and then the course on top is locking those stones into place as well this is like next level walling you know thinking about every single element of it not just how it looks on the face but how it's going to behave over time so if you want to like really get to that next level of walling this is what you've got to be thinking about if you're walling in a field and you've got shit stone, you probably w you might not be able to do it at all. But if you've got good stone, this is what you aim for. So there. Hey guys, um, so we're going to carry on with this second lift now. Uh, you'll see what we've done here. We put the strings quite high, it seems, but we've actually put them up so that there'll be two courses up to this string. And we do that when we get onto thinner stone, just because it kind of speeds things up a bit. If you did just run your your string like eat one course at a time you've got to like kind of really stick to that you've got to be very thickness, precise you? you've got oh he is a good little boy Go. Right, so we've um, we've got these strings up to top height now, top and we'll height. just <laughs> top height, and we'll just work to that. And this, if you're going to put effort in anywhere, like the last course is the it? The last course. Make sure you work perfectly to that string, and part of that is 
making sure, like the course underneath the last course, you leave enough room to for get a nice course for a top. nice course. Yeah. You, you don't like... you don't wall near to the string and then think, oh shit, I've got to like find, find a lot of shims that and I stuff. don't have. Yeah. You, so I'd, I'd, almost, I'd be looking now, thinking like, right, what do I want for my last course? Like that. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna wall some to like there. Yeah. I want to wall something thin on top of that through. Yeah, and then we can get a nice course on. Then we can get a nice course on top. One. So. And uh, it looked great. And then we'll just speed up this next bit of video until we're there. And then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember that